I trust you. I, I don't get very far outside of the box on, on the food, but I'll right, eat that. Right. Every single year, race fans from around the world arrive here in Knoxville, Iowa with a deep hunger for some of the best racing they're going to see on track all season long. My name's Tony Laporta, and it's my first trip to the Knoxville Nationals here in Iowa. And I'm hungry as well. Yeah, for the great racing on track, but for the legendary food stops that populate the parking lots all around the Knoxville Raceway. So join me in our first ever edition of Knoxville Nourishment. Hey everyone, it is the final day, Saturday, here at the 2022 NOS Energy Drink Knoxville Nationals. This is Knoxville Nourishments. I'm Tony Laporta, and behind me, well, a long-standing fixture of the Knoxville Nationals. It's been here in trailer form, it's been here in tent form, but it's always been here in delicious form. That right there is the Hawaiian Grill. I've heard about it from Chase Rodman. People are always getting him and I confused. I've heard about it from Ross Weiss. I'm done hearing about it. I'm gonna go taste about it. All right, I'll do the Hawaiian teriyaki chicken, the aloha plate. Sounds good. Yep. She talked me out of the shrimp. I was going to do shrimp, but she's a salesman. Crabbing ones is one of the best crab rangoons. Okay. I've never had one, so it's going to be the best crab rangoon I ever had. Well, you're going to be thinking of me for the whole year. Oh, boy, okay. Thinking meal. of you the whole year. All right. Been hearing about it all week. You got some teriyaki chicken, some steamed rice, and crab rangoons. I have to try one of these because I've just never had one ever. That is the crispiest crab I've ever had. That is how to make your Knoxville Nationals very tropical. 